Hey, it's Taylor with AndrewMe.com. Uh, we're back today. This is our Samsung Captivate on AT&T. And we're going to be taking a look today at some GPU benchmarks. Uh, I just have one real quick that I want to show you. This is the new uh, GL Benchmark 2.0. I showed you the first one, the GL Benchmark uh, 1, last month or a couple weeks ago. Showing you some of the different tests. And today we're going to be taking a look at this. Um, and over here I have a, it's a Nexus 1 uh, with Android 2.2 loaded on here. Uh, but let me pull up the benchmark here. And we're just going to be running through this test. Uh, the main thing here, there's all kinds of tests on here. Tons of fill test and branching and loop and all this stuff. Uh, but we're, we, what we want to look at is this uh, 2.0 test, this Egypt one. Uh, this is the one that pushes all the OpenGL ES 2.0 capabilities of this phone and there's two demos here we can run them uh, with full screen anti-aliasing on or off and we're just going to do the one that has off and let me pull up the Nexus one here and we'll get this going uh, we, we've shown before let me start these at the same time this is a pretty intensive benchmark so this takes uh, a minute or two to load up uh, we've shown before in our testing that the uh, the Motorola Droid, the original Droid, was actually the fastest phone when it came to graphics. Uh, that was because it has the Texas Instruments OMAP processor with its PowerVR SGX530 GPU. Um, that's also the same GPU that's coming up in the new Droid X that also has the same uh, PowerVR SGX530. Uh, but this phone right here, the Samsung Captivate, or actually any of these... Uh, and here we go, it's already started up. Uh, any of these Samsung Galaxy S phones, they actually all have the PowerVR SGX540 GPU. Uh, and the PowerVR SGX540 GPU is said to have twice the performance of the 530. And <laughs> this is starting up here. You can see this. Look how smooth everything is on the top one here. And look at my Nexus 1 just chugging down on the bottom. Uh, what's really amazing here, uh, this, this does have the Android 2.2, which offers a nice performance boost on, on the overall system performance, but in graphics uh, benchmarks, it doesn't really make that much of a, a difference. But here you can just see, this is the Qualcomm 1 GHz processor, and up here this is the 1 GHz Hummingbird GPU. But just look at the difference here, <laughs> how this used to be the champ, uh, well, this one and the Droid are about on the same level with graphics performance, and this benchmark just kills this phone. Um, let's zoom in on here a, a little so we can get a better look at this guy. Uh, like I said, this is Power, I mean, this is GL Benchmark 2.0, and this is not available for download uh, just quite yet. Uh, it should be coming out soon. Um, as soon as this comes out, we'll get the download link for you so that y'all can benchmark your phones at home and show us how it compares. Um, today we're just going to be using this though to see how it you know, benchmarks with some of our other phones, the Evo, the Droid, Nexus One, etc. Uh, but I just want to show you a little quick preview here. If you want to see the full results and see these results graphed with some of the different phones, uh, just head on over to AndroidMe.com. Uh, we're going to be having um, and you can see here, this doesn't show the actual frames per second, <coughs> but it does show you rendered 2,388 frames. And if you want to see how that compares with some of the other Android phones, uh, check back um, on AndroidMe.com. Like I said, we're going to have the full results, and we'll compare this with some of the other Android phones. But just from what I've seen so far, uh, this thing just blows everything else out of the water. Um, this PowerVR SGX 540 GPU is, is really fast. Uh, and I haven't seen anything at all that even could slow it down. So it'll be interesting uh, to run a couple more benchmarks on this, and we will show you how it compares with all the other phones.